First of all, uh, Senator, congratulations. I know what a hard road that is uh, moving through the legislative process. But uh, this is now the second time Michigan has enacted uh, a strengthening of gun safety. It is. And it's just become such a devastating American experience that it feels like every week, every day, every weekend, we see more coverage of these just horrific incidents playing out all around the country. So I think what we're showing in Michigan is, yes, we passed universal background checks, we passed safe storage, but we acknowledge we're not done. This is the number one killer of kids in our country, and we are committed to continuing to take action to save lives. Can I just ask you, as a legislative tactician, uh, when, I'm, when I see these things going through in pieces, uh, in the past, legislators tended to create uh, a bundle of, of items, uh, you know, the, the background checks, the red flag stuff, the uh, protection of ammunition and guns and so forth. And also, but it'd be six or seven things all in one bill. Uh, in Michigan, you seem to be taking them almost one at a time. We have been working specifically on red flag legislation for almost 10 years now. And I think that a lot of the national coverage pointed at some of the horrific incidents here in Michigan, the Oxford High School shooting, and then 14 months later, the Michigan State shooting. And there was sort of this idea that we quickly put these together after that. And, and that's simply not true. We wanted to be very deliberative. We wanted to get this right, especially on something like a red flag bill, which gives loved ones, law enforcement, health professionals a tool to temporarily remove firearms from somebody who's an immediate risk. And that's it's a really sensitive thing. But what we've learned from other states is that this can and does save lives, especially when somebody's going through a mental health crisis. So there's the political rhetoric of, yes, moving things together. But then there's just the reality of this is something really serious and we have to take it our time and we have to get it right to be as effective as possible. Please tell the people of Michigan what rights they now have under this red flag law to protect themselves and others uh, and how they can actually use this law in their state. And I'm sure people in other states that don't have this law are going to want to know how this works. So we heard just just heartbreaking testimony. And I'll share just one story. Uh, Karen Kobelik, she came before our committee and she and her husband lost their daughter who was going through mental health crises, bought a firearm. She shot and killed herself. She shot and killed her twin brother, and she shot and killed her partner. And just the the waves of emotion that these parents felt. And what Karen said is she knew that her daughter needed help. She knew that she was going through a crisis. And she called the police time after time after time to ask for these guns to be taken away. And the police said, there's simply nothing we can do. Now she has a tool. There is a tool in place that if she were to make this call, once this law goes into effect here in Michigan, that the police would have recourse, that a court would have recourse and her kids might be here today. What is next on the agenda uh, in, on, in this arena in Michigan? So I think something that is really important, and we heard this from Karen McDonald, the Oakland County prosecutor, who's now prosecuting the Oxford High School case, that we have to address this holistically. We have to look at mental health policies, school counselor policies, uh, to screen people, to make sure that we are addressing the issues before firearms even come into the situation. So we're going to be taking a look at that next. We're also going to be taking a look at what gun violence measures we can do, whether it's ghost guns, whether it's something as simple as asking parents to declare whether or not there's a firearm in the home, maybe when you're at your pediatrician, to make sure that there's an awareness and we're keeping as many people as, as safe as possible to prevent more people from losing a loved one in this just absolutely horrific way.